ಶ್ರೀ ಸಚಿದಾನಂದ ಸದ್ಗುರು ಸಾಯಿನಾಥ್ ಮಹಾರಾಜ್ ಕಿ ಜೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಸಾಯಿ ಸಟ್ ಚರಿತ್ರ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇನ್ಸೈಟ್ ಎಪಿಸೋಡ್ ಟೂ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಮೈ ಹಂಬಲ್ ಪ್ರೊಸ್ಟ್ರೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಅಟ್ ದ ಲೋಡಸ್ ಫೀಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಅವರ್ ಸದ್ಗುರು ಸಾಯಿ ಬೈ ದ ಡಿವೈನ್ ಗ್ರೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಾಯಿ ಆನ್ ಅಟೆಂಪ್ಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಬೀನ್ ಮೇಡ್ ಟು ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಲೇಟ್ ದ ಜಿಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಡಿವೈನ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕೋರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಶ್ರೀ ರಾಮನಾಥನ್ ಬ್ರದರ್ ಟೆಲಿಕಾಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ಸಾಯಿ ಟಿ ವಿ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ಯೂರ್ಲಿ ಡನ್ ಟು ಶೇರ್ ದ ಗ್ಲೋರಿ ಆಫ್ ಸಾಯಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಡಿವೈನ್ ಟೀಚಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಮೋರ್ ಇನ್ಸೈಟ್ ಟು ದಿ ಆಸ್ಪಿರೆನ್ಸ್ ಗುರೂರ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಗುರೂರ್ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಗುರೂರ್ ದೇವೋ ಮಹೇಶ್ವರ ಗುರೂರ್ ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ ಪರಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರವೇ ನಮಃ ಡೆವೋಟೀಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಪ್ರೀವಿಯಸ್ ಎಪಿಸೋಡ್ ವಿ ವೆರ್ ಲಿಸ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸ್ಟೋರೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಟೂ ಜ ಗೋವಾ ಜೆಂಟಲ್ ಮೆನ್ ದಟ್ ಕೇಮ್ ಫಾರ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಸಾಯಿ ಬಾಬಾಸ್ ದರ್ಶನ್ ಆಸ್ ನರೇಟೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಸಾಯಿ ಮಹಾರಾಜ್ ಇನ್ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂಯೇಷನ್ ಟು ದಟ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಸಾಯಿ ಬಾಬಾ ಬಿಗ್ಯಾನ್ ಟು ಟೆಲ್ ನದರ್ ಸ್ಟೋರಿ ಇನ್ ದ ಪ್ರೆಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಶಾಮಾ this is a pretty long story it goes like this long ago i was trekking on the shores of the beach and saw a big bungalow went and sat on its veranda the owner was a brahmin he saw me and gave me a good reception and fed me a hearty meal he also provided a neat and clean place near the cupboard to sleep i slept there while i was in deep sleep a robber removed the laterite slab and broke the wall entered in scissored my pocket and stole all the money when i woke up i realized that rupees 30000 was stolen i was greatly distressed and sat weeping and moaning the money was in currency notes and i thought that the brahmin might have stolen it i lost all interest in food and drink and sat on the veranda for a fortnight after the fortnight was over a passing fakir was walking in front of the mansion i was sitting he was singing devotional hymns seeing me crying he came to me and made inquiries regarding the cause of my sorrow i told him all that happened he told me go to a fakir i shall give his whereabouts surrender yourself to him and vow to him to give up any food that you like best and say to him mentally that i have given up eating that food till i take your darshan accordingly i took the vow and gave up eating rice and said i will eat it after recovering my property and after taking your darshan i followed his directions and i got my money back then i left the mansion and went to the seashore there was a steamer but it was overcrowded at that juncture a good natured peon interceded for me and i got in luckily the breeze was in favor of me and that brought me to another shore where i caught a tonga and reached home then had the darshan of masjid mai with my eyes all those who listened to this narration didn't get the gist of what shri sai said shri sai maharaj frequently speaks in parables this story was beyond their comprehension because shri sai baba never traveled outside shirdi and all the 60 years he stayed there until he left his mortal coil then how could he have been to the seashore also he had never had an amount of rupees 30000 nor has been advised by any fakir to take a vow but keeping in mind the ensuing events the devotees gathered their guest that this story might be related to the second gentleman that had come from goa listening to the story narrated by shri sai baba the second person was spellbound because word for word the plot of the story matched with the events that took place in his life following this shri sai baba told shyama to take the guests and give them food 
Accordingly, Shah Amar took them home. He was contemplating on the stories narrated by Sri Sai Maharaj to him, though he could guess that the stories must be related to the two Goa gentlemen, but wasn't sure what would have actually happened. So, on the way home, he told them, from the time I knew Sri Sai Maharaj, he has been always in Shiradi. When did he go to seashore and when he travelled in a ship? He never had rupees 30,000 to lose it. All these assertions of Sri Sai Maharaj sound strange. Also, he began to narrate all these stories only after you both arrived. So, I feel that these stories must have some connections with you. Listening to this statement of Shama, the eyes of those two gentlemen were filled with tears and they said, Every syllable pronounced by Sri Sai Maharaj in those stories are true as those incidents happened in our lives. Sri Sai Maharaj is omniscient. Nothing is veiled to him. Our past, present and future is an open book in front of him. The residents of Shiradi are blessed that they live in the presence of such a great Satpurush. He is an incarnation of the Supreme Lord. By having his darshan, we feel greatly blessed. As they spoke, their throats choked. Words failed to express their thoughts. By now, they reached Shama's home and he began to arrange for their meals. Also, God curious listening to the words of the gentleman and said, Oh, is it? Please narrate your stories. They said they will say after having their meals. After eating their food, while chewing betel leaves, they began to tell their stories. The first person began to talk. From him, Sri Sai Maharaj took rupees 15 as Dakshana. My native is a hill station on the guts, but to make my livelihood, I came to Goa in search of a job. I struggled a lot to get a job. Then I vowed to Lord Datta that I will offer my first month's salary if I get a job. By the grace of Lord Datta, I got a job and my monthly pay was rupees 15. Later, this increased in two and three folds. I also got promotions as mentioned by Sri Sai Baba and now I am earning around Rs. 700. After getting the job, I forgot my vow. But when I came to Shiradi, Sri Sai Maharaj reminded me of it in the guise of Dakshana and took Rs. 15 which is the amount vowed by me to the Lord. So, the amount he collected from me is not Dakshana but the old debt of mine to the Lord and fulfillment of the forgotten vow. Shama has heard and witnessed many such enthralling leelas, so this wasn't a surprise for him, but just a confirmation that his perception on the parables told by Sri Sai was right. Ramanathan brother wants us to listen in brief to the glory of Lord Dattatreya as it is connected to the story. Lord Dattatreya was born to Atri Maharishi and Mother Anasuya. Atri means the one who has transcended the three attributes or gunas. Anasuya means the one who has attained the state of no malice. So, Lord Dattatreya was born to the couple that possessed such great traits. Mother Anasuya was known for her chastity. It is said that even the rays of the sun will lose their glow in the presence of Mother Anasuya. Lord Indra, the god of the Devas, was little concerned about the rising fame of Mother Anasuya owing to her loyalty towards the great sage Atri. So, Lord Indra feared that he might lose his position owing to her chastity. So, he approached Lord Shiva, Vishnu and Indra to test her chastity. For this reason, they came to earth in the guise of three Brahmins to the hermitage of the divine couple and approached Mother Anasuya for alms. 
At that juncture, the sage had gone to the river to perform his morning ablutions. As the Brahmins came to her doorsteps asking for alms, she quickly brought some food with great respect and reverence to offer them. The guests are always considered to be the form of God and must be treated with utmost care. The guest refused to accept the food offerings and placed a condition that she must be naked to serve them food. If the condition of the guest is not fulfilled, then it will result in disobeying them. But if she serves them without clothes, then that will bring down her chastity. She was in a fix and a thought arose in her mind if these three guests had been babies, then I could have fed them milk without clothes. Lo, wonder of wonder, the moment this thought came up in Mother Anasuya's mind, instantaneously, owing to the power of her unmalleased nature, the three gods, Lord Vishnu, Shiva and Brahma, turned to babies. Immediately, she fed them milk. Within a few moments, Atri Maharishi returned to the hermitage. He was stunned to look at three beautiful babies in his hut. Mother Anasuya narrated all that happened during his absence. The great sage and the divine mother didn't have progeny. Mother Anasuya told the sage that the merciful Lord had given them three children. The term Datta in Sanskrit denotes given. Hence, the sage named the children Datta. Now, the three children resumed their original forms as Lord Shiva, Vishnu and Brahma and revealed that their intention to come on earth was to glorify the chastity of Mother Anusuya to the world. Now, Atri Maharishi requested the gods to be born as their children. The gods accepted this request and all the three divine energies manifested into one body with three heads and six arms holding Dhammaru and trident to represent Lord Shiva, then conch shell and spinning wheel to signify the form of Lord Vishnu and holy beads in one of their hands and begging bowl on the other to denote the form of Lord Brahma. Thus, all the six hands carried the symbols that denoted the Trimurti incarnation. Moon as a feature of Lord Brahma, Durvasa representing Lord Shiva and Datta signifying the form of Lord Vishnu and the combined form of all the three lords was named as Dattatreya. As they were born as children to Atri Maharishi, they got the name Atreya and as they were given or came as a boon from the Lord to the couple, Mother Anasuya and Sejatri, they came to be known as Datta plus Atreya gives Datta Atreya. Thus, the three lords descended on earth in the form of Lord Datta Atreya. The Lord assumed 24 elements of nature as his guru and those elements were known as the Guru Parampara and through those he preached how one should conduct themselves in this world by observing the qualities and functions of these elements and lead a detached life performing the work designated to them. Following this tradition, many incarnations took place. The first and foremost was Sri Pada Sri Vallabha, followed by Sri Narasimha Saraswati, then Sri Manik Prabhu, and fourth was Swami Samarth Maharaj, fifth was Gajanan Maharaj, and the sixth incarnation is Sri Shirdi Sai Maharaj. Thus, Sri Sai Maharaj is an incarnation of Lord Dattatreya, Hence, Sri Sai Baba took the Dakshina that was vowed to Lord Dattatreya and by asserting that whatever a person vows to the Lord belongs to me, he is affirming again that he and Lord Dattatreya are one and the same. Following this, Shah Maas, the second Goa gentleman, to narrate his story and we shall hear to that in the coming episode. Go to Sri Sai. Peace be to all. Om. 
साई राम